Hi, welcome again to Coding Academy. In this video, we're going to start converting our HTML theme into WordPress. Before we begin, we're going to install a localhost server if you don't have yet one installed. And um, we're going to type um, for web. Web is for Windows. Okay, click on the link. Okay, so you can see um, the appearance of the site. Start using web, and here you're gonna click on this link. Okay, okay, here you can see all the previous version, and here you're gonna click on download the latest version, and it will take a couple of seconds to to download. And here we are. So I have already web server installed. I'm gonna cancel it. So after the installation is completed. So you're going to click here to install web server. So if you are on Mac, what you can do, you can search for map. And here you click to download. And here you're going to choose what version is fit better for you. So it's how um, you can install a localhost server. After the installation is complete, you're gonna search here in the search bar for web server. You can click on it to open it, or you're gonna you can go on the desktop. Here you can see um, the icon of the web server. You're gonna double click on it to open it. After that, you're gonna here on the bottom, um, bottom right. So, so as you can see, this is the icon of the web server. As you can see on the top right, it says local server, all services warning. So it should be queen to be okay. If not, um, you can um, leave your comment below and we will find a way to help you. Okay, so we're going to click on it. And this is here, we, we, um, we're going to put uh, all the WordPress file. We're going to click on it to open it. I mean, um, all of these folder that you see here, each one of these, is a site so we're going to create a folder for our new team so for this part this is it guys now in this part we're going to download configure and install wordpress professionally so okay we're going to download the latest version always download the latest version and a couple of seconds to I mean to complete Okay, so I'm going to skip it and okay, the download is completed and we're going to click on, on the folder, double click on it, on the WordPress and we're going to take this folder, the entire folder, we copy the entire folder, um, control, control C, okay. And uh, we're gonna wait a um, couple of seconds to to copy all the files in the folder. Okay, and the same process I I showed you before. Click on the on the icon of the web server on the 3W directory, and here we're gonna let me show you. In here. We're gonna paste the WordPress folder. So this is it, and we're gonna name it. We're gonna give it a name. Um, you can name it anything you want. I'm gonna name it um, HTML um, HTML to WordPress. Okay. So this is it. After these steps, now we're going to create the database so that we can configure our WordPress site. Now we're going to access the link HTTP, HTTP, localhost, okay, let's see that. Um, to access the PHP, the PHP my admin. This is the link of the, of the database and we're going to click new. So this is all the database um, on the local server. 
click on new and we're gonna name uh, how database let's see um, HTML um, WP um, database we're gonna name like this but you are free to name it as you want and we're gonna choose a car set we're gonna choose um, this one this car set always choose this one and we're gonna create our database okay so database successfully created and now we click on it okay now you see you can see HTML WP database okay so you are free to name it um as you want okay now we're gonna we need to create a user we could we could do that with um the default user of the uh, php my admin so um but it's not um it's not something that you that you should do so we're gonna create um a user to use um in this database so let's see uh we're gonna name it wp um um html you could name it as you want so this is only for development purpose this is the user okay and now we need a password let's see password uh, let's see um wp um html at one two three Okay, copy and here. Okay, it's a little bit weak. Let's see, four five. So we need to create a strong password. Okay, let's see, um, HTML DB. Okay, it should be okay. But anyway, you can um, try to give um, a strong password because this one is for only for development purpose. Okay, so you're gonna check all privilege, but and click go. Okay, but I like to uncheck those things and save again. So as you can see, um, how database is html wp database okay this is the user and this is the password now we have our database created in this step we're gonna configure wordpress and for that we're gonna need a code editor so i'm gonna go with atom okay so um so we're gonna go to choose our folder the folder of our site open folder okay so you can see um we are in the 3w this is where you have to put your i mean um your your the, the wordpress um files in this directory 3w okay and then we're gonna choose our directory it was i mean html to wordpress okay we choose um this folder and we're gonna get rid of this get rid of this okay so we're gonna make a copy and paste and here we're gonna rename it okay so okay we name now we have our wp um dash config dot php dash config dot php okay so now in this step we're gonna replace I mean the database name username here password here okay and you're gonna see um how it works okay this step is only for beginner um okay so we have uh, the database name here okay so we're gonna replace okay database name here user change the username i mean the user of the database here the password copy and paste here okay and now the car set you you could leave this one i mean like this 
but what I like to choose for the car set, the same car set of the database, I mean, um, I add MV4. Let's see it. I'm gonna, the caps lock was activated. MV4. Okay. And here, um, this is only for security purpose. Okay, we're gonna change those values. And to change those values, you have um, this link. You see um, the link is um, this link here. Okay, we're gonna copy and um, open this link in here. Okay, so it will be generate a unique salt. Okay, and we're gonna replace all of this. Get rid of this and replace okay so as you can see this is for security purpose okay and in this step so as you can see so the default i mean prefix of database name is wp so you can change it change it and i will change to i mean html okay but you can name it as you want no problem Okay, now we have um, um, the setup of our file. Okay, and now we're gonna see the name of the of our WordPress folder. It's HTML to WordPress. Okay, and we're gonna go here to set up the 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 site HTML to WordPress. Okay, wait a while to access um, the folder. Okay, here we go. I mean, we're gonna configure WordPress. So English, okay. HTML to WordPress. And this one, you're gonna need this. Um, this is the WordPress password. Okay, put it some somewhere, WP here, okay, here you have to put the name of the user, okay, and if you want, you can add your, I mean, your email, okay, and now you see the configuration, and now install WordPress, so this is it. So no secret. Okay, as you see the user, WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, now log in the user of the database and the password that was generated. Copy and paste here. Okay. Here we go. Now we have how WordPress set up so everything is okay. As you can see, WordPress was installed successfully. Now we're gonna start converting our HTML team, this one, into WordPress. Before we continue, let me show you real quick the appearance of the site. We're gonna offer HTML to WP. Okay, open the link. Okay, so this is the default theme that comes with the installation, the default theme for 2021. So now we're gonna um, start creating the basic files of our teams. And I'm gonna give you this lecture, I mean, the codex. So the codex will be your guide. I mean, so as you see, team development, so um, it's not really user-friendly, okay? But as you can see, so they say you, you have to follow the team development standards, okay? And here, so this is the template list. So it's not um, all of them, but here you can see the basic, basic templates. So those, are the required files to create a team the basic file so you're gonna need um a file name 
style.css and index.css. So I'm gonna um, um, leave this lecture in the description of this video. Now we have seen the necessary files to create a WordPress theme. I mean, the basic files, um, that is to say style.css and index.php. And now we're gonna start creating these files. So, okay, this is the folder of our WordPress site and we're gonna click on WP content. So this is the folder of all the themes installed in our WordPress site. So as you can see, 2019, 2020, 2021, this one I've showed you before. So we have to create our whole. And now the folder, we're gonna name it HTML to WP. Okay, after that, we're gonna create two files in it. I mean, style.css and and um, index.php okay and after that we're gonna we have to put um, some comment and we're gonna see why some comment in the style sheet so this is for beginners I'm gonna show you why we put those comments see here this will be the name of our team um let's see w i mean html to wordpress this will be the name of our team and here you can you can put the name of i mean the team you arrive okay so here you can put if you want your own link i'm gonna put mine um https label web film dot com oh, let's see if it's okay label web film dot com and here this is the description I'm gonna get rid of that Okay, this is um, HTML template. This is um, what well, I can name it. Any anything you'd like. I mean, this is an awesome team. Okay, and. Uh, that's it. So now, let me show you um, how it looks like. So we're gonna head in the appearance theme. So as you can see, the name that we give is here. So look, HTML to WordPress. So we can activate our theme. now let me show you the appearance of our team okay so this one was um the 2020 2021 default team and now let me refresh to see what it looks like so you see nothing why we see nothing it's because we didn't put nothing yet i'm gonna show you um if we put something in it in the index um h1 um WordPress, WordPress theme. And here, refresh, as you can see, WordPress theme. I mean, I misspell WordPress. WordPress. Okay, WordPress. Okay, so it works. In the next video, we're gonna continue building our custom theme. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. And don't forget to drop your comment below and subscribe. Bye-bye.